Government employees spend a good portion of their day traveling around the city and are in a unique position to be able to help keep our waterways clean by spotting and reporting water pollution on site. All local governments have established some kind of regulation that makes sure only clean water flows into the creeks, rivers, and lakes. These laws and ordinances reflect the permit requirements from the state of Texas and play an important role in keeping our city clean, healthy, and compliant with state law. Without people like you, paying attention and reporting what you see, our streams, rivers, lakes, and the wildlife they support can all suffer. We are asking for your help in protecting our waterways by spotting and reporting illegal dumping and discharges. In this training video, you will gain the skills needed to spot and effectively report potential water pollution to the proper department within your organization. Many of the obvious sources of water pollution, like big industries dumping waste or harmful chemicals directly into the water, have been addressed, but water pollution is still a problem. The biggest source of pollution in our creeks, rivers, and lakes is what we call stormwater pollution. Stormwater is simply rainwater after it hits the ground. As rainwater travels across the ground, it picks up pollutants like lawn clippings, pesticides, fertilizer, pet waste, motor oil, construction debris, and just plain trash. This water then goes into the storm system, which includes storm drains, culverts, and bar ditches. And since these are not connected to any type of treatment plant, all that pollution ends up in our ponds, creeks, rivers, and lakes. While some of this pollution happens naturally, dumping pollutants into the storm drains and waterways has been made illegal to try and protect the quality of our water. The dumping of pollutants into a street, storm drain, or waterway is called an illegal discharge. Only clean water should go down the storm drain or into an open body of water. There are some exceptions, like flows from firefighting or residential car washing. But in general, only rain should go down the storm drain. Fines for illegal discharges can be high, and it is important for you to be our eyes around the city to help reduce stormwater pollution. It is not always easy to identify illegal discharges, but here are a few examples you might encounter in the field. A construction site is having concrete poured. After the concrete is poured on the site, the driver washes out his concrete mixer or truck into the street. This wash water runs down the street, into a storm drain, and eventually into the creek. Not only could it kill wildlife, but it could reduce flow during the next rainstorm and cause flooding in the area. If not properly contained, dirt and debris from construction sites can pollute our waters. Exposed dirt will naturally wash away, but too much of it going into the stream or storm drain can kill fish and cause flooding. Most construction sites are required to take measures to prevent dirt from washing off the site. Some common examples include silt fencing, storm drain inlet protection, or erosion control blankets. If these devices look damaged or ineffective, contact your stormwater representative immediately. Other things you might see in the roadway from construction activities are concrete saw cutting, mortar or tile cutting, or paint contractors washing out their equipment where it can drain into the street. All of these activities produce slurry, which is a pollutant and must be properly contained and disposed of. These types of businesses should be familiar with the local ordinances that prohibit discharges into the storm drains. Other things to look out for include restaurants hosing down mats full of grease into the parking lot, or a grease trap overflowing behind a restaurant commercial or industrial sites with leaking drums or dumpsters. Residential neighborhoods can also be a source of illegal discharges, like a resident or contractor blowing leaves or grass clippings into the storm drain. This can clog the drain or cause algae blooms in the stream which deplete the oxygen in the water, killing fish. A washing machine piped illegally into the creek spills soaps and harsh chemicals. A resident dumping or spilling oil down a storm drain. Or even dog waste that's not cleaned up, which spreads fecal matter into our waters and raises bacterial levels. Pools should drain into the sanitary sewer system. Locations you should be looking for these problems include streets, alleys, sidewalks, 
driveways, parking lots, storm drains, ponds, ditches, creeks, rivers, and lakes. On pavement, look for flowing water that is soapy or discolored, leaking fluids from vehicles, storage drums, or dumpsters. In creeks, culverts, and ponds, look for oily, foamy, or discolored water. A strong odor that you would not normally associate with water may also be an indication of an illegal discharge. Keep an eye out for a suspicious or temporary hose or pipe running from a building to a creek or into a storm drain. Also, look for flowing water in a normally dry area. A few dead fish may or may not be an indication of an illegal discharge, but a lot of dead fish or other dead animals in the water may indicate a problem. Never touch or try to collect samples of any kind. Instead, report what you've found immediately to your supervisor or the appropriate stormwater contact with details about what you've found. A picture would be great if you can take it safely and provide the address or cross streets as well as where on the property the discharge is located. Every waterway should look clean and inviting, and with your help finding and reporting illegal polluters, they can. For more information on stormwater or stormwater regulations, contact your appropriate environmental, stormwater management, or public works department.